Okay, so even though I've used the Nothing Phone 2A for a few months now, using a prototype that I had from the Nothing Insider program, I actually ordered the Nothing Phone 2A directly from Nothing. We'll get into the ordering process and pricing, etc. later on, but I'm super excited to dive right into this retail packaging and get the full unboxing experience. The packaging is very premium and does not feel like packaging from a $349 device. Right inside the box, we get a welcome message from Nothing. Moments like this are why we're here, the anticipation to get started to unlock something new, and my anticipation is growing, so let's keep diving into the box. Inside the box you'll get Nothing's transparent cable, you'll also get some reading material, we'll set that aside, and then of course we get the cool sim ejector tool. Removing the paper not plastic casing from the device, we now have the Nothing Phone 2A and it looks absolutely stunning. This is the milk option, as in the US you have black or milk options available to you to purchase, and I have to say go with the milk. In the US there's not eSIM, so you will need a physical SIM card. I have to take a moment though to really appreciate the design here and the overall design aesthetic with the black accent buttons, but also I love how nothing rounded off the design on the back of the device. It just looks absolutely stunning and really incredible considering the price point. And of course we have the unique camera array here, which I actually like because when you actually turn the device, your fingers are not all over the actual camera sensors and keeps it pretty clean. Having used the device and the cameras quite often over the last few months, I've actually taken a few photos, one of which was actually shared a portrait optimized photo here on Nothing site. So go ahead and take a look at that, but I also shared some of my photos in my Nothing to a Insider review. So go ahead and check that out as well. I'll quickly go through the setup process now of the Nothing Phone 2A. It's super straightforward and very reminiscent of Phone 1 and 2. So the consistency here in software is just really nice to see across the board, regardless of price point and device you go with from Nothing. That brand identity definitely shows through across all of their devices and their device lineup. Quickly jumping into the setup though, we'll go ahead and select English, United States, and then we'll move forward. As I mentioned, you need a physical SIM card, not an eSIM in order to set up this device. Currently using eSIM, I'm gonna to have to run to my carrier shortly and get a physical SIM. I'm not gonna copy any data over when I'm setting this up either. I like to set up all of my Android devices right from scratch. I'll go ahead and sign into my Google account here off screen. Now that I'm signed into my Google account, quickly go through a few of the additional prompts, let it process, let it go ahead and sync and do what it needs to to pull down all of my account info. Of course, once that's completed, it's going to have all of my Google services and account services sync. Once all of that's done, it's going to have me set up a pin for the initial device biometrics and you can use fingerprint unlock. I'm going to set up a few of those and it's super smooth and it's pretty quick. Then I'll go ahead and configure lock screen notifications and move forward to Google and Google Assistant. Since I use Google Home, that's pretty straightforward and a quick setup for me right out of the box for most Android devices. Like most Android devices, you'll be able to go through and pick anything else you want to customize right out of the box and right at setup. So I'll go ahead and just breeze right through all of this. That way we can get to the remaining setup or your Nothing Phone 2A. I'll set up wallpapers and all of that much later as well as my other email accounts, etc. So now the phone is going to pretty much get ready and then move you on to all of the terms and conditions. I'm not going to select uh, the user experience program or anything to that nature here. I just want to set up this for my own device, my own personal usage. I'm going to then jump to system nav navigation. Since I'm familiar with that, I will skip that. And here we are right into Nothing OS. It's going to give you kind of a preview of Nothing OS and the widgets and the overall style of Nothing OS. And you actually get to choose and select uh, what those styles look like here shortly, but you also get the uh, option to go through Glyph Interface and see what Glyph Interface offers for the Nothing Phone 2A uh, in comparison to your other devices. You, again, get to choose your style here. I'm gonna go ahead and set up this with Nothing style, of course, it's a nothing device. Why would I not use the nothing OS, but you do have that option. And as you can see here, you have all of those widgets, you have everything that's very uh, nothing OS styled to nothing's liking with their widgets, but it's pretty much bloat free out of the box. There is a few updates right out of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly update the Nothing Phone 2A and then jump into my overall configuration. And now that I've had a chance to update the Nothing Phone 2A, which the update brought a lot of additional added smoothness to the overall software experience. I've configured a few lock screen widgets here that you can see. I really like the lock screen widgets and their interactive widgets overall. Nothing definitely delivers there. I also customized some of my additional lock screen uh, features and functions, and then went through all of the customization of my home screen, set up all of my apps, logged into all of my app, and did that pretty quickly. Uh, and overall, I really like this setup that I've went with here. It's pretty useful for me personally. I've cleaned up some of the overall app drawer and navigation and 
all of the additional widgets here. It's just super clean, super unique, and it's something I'm really looking forward to using going forward. And I think this overall setup for me is going to be pretty functional. But again, I love the customization options you get, not just with Android, but with Nothing OS and what Nothing has done with keeping their overall Nothing OS very clean. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up the Glyph interface, enabling features like Flip to Glyph, uh, as well as the uh, Glyph Timer. All of these features for me are really useful, especially because I keep my phones face down. So for me, the Glyph interface is a really good way to notify me, and it's also a really fun, unique way to customize your device. I like that you still have Glyph Composer here, even though you only have a few lights here on the back of the Phone 2A in comparison to the Phone 2 or Phone 1, but it's still very useful, and I think Overall, I think nothing's just dialing into how can they make it more usable and more feature friendly for their future users on device, and I think this is pretty great. Overall, the setup is very intuitive. You have a lot of options here. You can also set a bedtime schedule, keep it very clean, and keep it off at night so it's not blinding you at night. But overall, the Glyph interface looks really cool, and I really enjoy it. In addition to that, you can also set essential notifications, which for me, I typically set this up for a signal app because I primarily use that with my family and friends. So that way, anytime I'm notified from signal, I know that the glyph interface is going to alert me and let me know that I have a signal notification. I do hope to see additional functionality here where we can break it down to specific uh, individuals that reach out to a specific contacts and just get more in depth with your options for how you can customize glyph and those notifications. And that's been my overall quick setup and unboxing of Nothing Phone 2A. I'm really enjoying this device and it's crazy how buttery smooth this is. The latest updates have certainly brought it a long way, even from the initial prototype that I was using for the last few months and that was updated quite heavily. So it's nice to see additional updates right out of the box here on the Phone 2A and it's only $349. For $349, you're getting a really solid device, but stay tuned for my full review as I pop a sim in here and I use it long term to give you more thoughts of the actual retail unit. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you have any questions, concerns, etc. Happy to answer those. As always, thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.